Fighting Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And this is the Fighting Kitty, Zeno Asagiri. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kengan Omega Chapter or 202. So before we get into this week having live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, first off, we have breaking news. And this happened right before I started recording, is we have the official release date for season two of Kegan Asura, and it is going to be coming out September 2023. We don't know if there will be a trailer at Anime Japan this weekend. Um, we do have a visual, though, um, and uh, it looks okay. It could look a lot worse. Oh, we could definitely look a lot worse. It could look like what we've been seeing with Kaiju number eight and what we saw with uh, um, uh, E Ranker uh, Sung Jin Woo. Oh my God, that looks so bad. But this looks actually okay. It looks okay. Um, I'll post the link to that in the uh, description box below. Uh, but I will say this as well. Um, if you want to know more about what's going down at Anime Japan this weekend, either follow me on Twitter, which you should already anyway, or um, join my Discord because for sure I will post all the news of um, what's going on in An Anime Japan in my Discord. I might do a, um, a live chat up in there too. I might. I might. Uh, I can't do a live stream. Because, yeah, they're really strict on that. So I can't do that. But I can do a live chat up in Discord. And I can have audio up in there. That will not be a problem. So make sure you guys are um, in my disc, at least following me on Twitter. And, oh, I might do a Twitter space. That might not be a bad idea. I could probably do a Twitter space or a Discord um, uh, chat. At least a Discord. But, yeah, make sure you follow me there. But anyways, those are in the description box below as well. But anyways, last chapter of King and Omega, we figured out what's going down with Ryuki. And I told you, mofos, Mukaku was alive. I said it from the very beginning or near the very beginning of King and Omega that Mukaku was still alive, which I'm very happy about. And the hunt for Mukaku is on because the worm going after him. I'm really hoping that the situation is that hell, maybe even Takeda Nico, because we know about the cloning. If Takeda Nico was a clone as well, a clone of the connector, that would be such a freaking trip. I want that so bad. I really goddamn do. But we'll have to wait and see. But first we have to get past the general. And of course, oh, it's not for insurance. Not the same an insurance salesman general. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't one of those. And no, Koga Stew ain't fighting. If they did, if it was Koga Stew, then they'd be screwed. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Jack of All Trades. This guy's name is Hyun Myung. He was born in the inside. He comes from um, Ichiri Award, and he's one of the strongest of my men. Boss, permission to kill him? Wait, what do you say? He's asking if he could kill you. No, we need to treat our guests with respect. He looks pretty skilled. Yeah. Uh, he does. So what should we do about rules? Should we do hand-to-hand -hand, uh, only? Hmm. Use whatever weapons you want. This won't end any differently. Oh, sorry. This won't any any different. All right, Pseudo. Let's see what you got here. I can understand a few words of Japanese. You're, di <laughs> you're dissing me, aren't you? <laughs> kind of is, huh? Mm, he looks like he could knock out your average fighter. Are you sure about this, Oma? I've heard that Ritsudo is a talented commander and uh, commander and all, but can he even fight? Motherfucker, of course he can fight. What, you worried? Uh, well, see for yourself. Koga, you have no right to say anything about this. Bitch, you couldn't fight him. You'd die. You'd screw all of them over. All right. 
Okay. Hmm. Oops, was that sucker punch not fair? <laughs> Ooh, he's pulled his knife. This is nice. Oh, he stepped on his foot! <laughs> Hmm, this is some nice dodging we got here. Of course, Dromion spoils us with movement, of course. Ooh! So we got the, um, so we got the forearm, the neck, the, um, we got the upper arm here. Like, I want to say this is, because this is bicep. Yeah, so the bicep, like right here on the bicep. We got the chest, like the rib, and we got the thigh. Oh, did he get the artery on the thigh? No. Oh, he did he get the carotid artery? Oh, he got the carotid artery. Oh, he went he went for the vitals. Woo! He going for the arteries. Dude, my man is smart. He's hitting his vitals, his right. He's going for the arteries. Yeah. So we could kill him anytime he wanted to? He's a fucking beast. No shit he is, Koga, you dumbass. Hold on, keep watching. What's the matter, kiddo? Scared of knives? <laughs> Can you at least say I lose in Japanese? Oh, God. He's such an asshole. I love him. He's so much like his dad. He really is. Ooh, shit. Ooh! That was a nice strike. Well, I know it's a parry. But that was nice, though. Look at that. Ooh, I kind of... All right, Dermion, this is the problem I'm having here. I wish this was... I wish this was a close-up. I wish this was zoomed in more. I really wanted to see if he broke the bone or not. I want to... He parried that with his elbow? I wanted to see it up close. It's not fair. Wait, is that what I think it is? Isn't that Misasa's slot? Yes, it is. I wanted to see it up close, though. Sure, Misasa is, a, um, is Ritsudo's master and all, and there are forms of slot that use weapons. Well, yeah. Ooh. I miss Misasa. Why couldn't Misasa come here with us? I would have loved that. But yeah, he, Misasa's needed. He's needed back at at the mansion, so. Ooh, right in the, ooh, we got him in the face. <gasps> ooh! Now this is how you do blood, holy shit. This looks great. You saw how he moved his body, right? He's just as much of a beast barehanded. He's just about the only one who can come in between me and Ryan when we're fighting. <laughs> I love this aura. It's great. Sorry, I went a little hard on him since I sensed bloodlust. Should we keep going? Eh, no, it's all right. I got. I've already got a good sense of how strong you are, dude. The fact that's the fact that he's the one of the only people that can separate uh, Oma and Ryan when they're fighting. Yeah, that says enough. It does. And also remember what he did in Asura. This man is a beast. You don't fuck with him. You guys can handle yourselves, uh, so you can have your guide as we asked. Yep. Or sorry, I fucked this up. It's early in the morning. You uh, you guys can handle yourselves, so you can have your guide as we agreed. Let's see. You did it. <laughs> Naturally. That was awesome, Mitsudo. I bet you could be a fighter. Huh, give me a break. I'm a j ah, title of the chapter. Give me a break. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. I couldn't beat anyone who's mastered fighting barehanded. Besides, that's not the stage I belong on. I've got a high bar to clear. Yep. Because remember, Katahara is a fucking troll. He is a goddamn troll. He's got, he, that's what he means by that, um, he's the master of, tra uh, jack of all trades and master of none. Yeah. Katahara is, is like next level. He is like next level. <laughs> he's a fu dude. Ritsuna has got to be a troll. He's got to reach supreme troll status, dude. That dude Kanahara is just fucking everything. I love Kanahara so much. He's such a goddamn troll. 
All right, brother. Uh, wait, all right. All right, brother. Now take us to the guide. Mm, I guess you hadn't noticed, had you? The guide's already here. How long has he been there? Not even the ex-assassin Mikazuchi sensed him. Dude, Mikazuchi's like, what the fuck? This guy's bad news. Let's skip the formalities. I've already done my research on you. Oh, this aura. Yes. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I have to point this out. I always have to point this out. I love the texture that we are getting in this robe. It is everything. Yes. Let's go on our guided tour to hell. We've got the nameless guide here. Look at the close-up. Hold on a sec. Bone structure. Hmm. No, it's not the same. No. Okay, because I was thinking, if he is, if he is one of the clones, that'd be a trip. I'm very pleased with this chapter. I'm very, very pleased. I will say though, there's one thing that did bother me a little bit. And I think it was mainly near the beginning that it was like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I fucked this up. We still have more to go. He's not one of ours. He's, um, let's keep going here. He's freelance, but he gets the job done. If you vouch for him, I'll trust you, but I thought we were supposed to meet the guy right before the disputed territory. Could have sworn you were going to tell us, um, the rendezvous point. Yeah, that was the plan. Um, uh, yeah, that was the plan. Did something happen? The situation's changed. We leave immediately. Wait, now? How come? We still need to prepare for? It'll be too late by then. Each ward syndicate is marching on it. Ooh, this has got to be... Is this about Makaka now? We could have an um, all-out war any minute. Wait, let's got to go back to that meeting that we saw. Yes. And if that happens, the disputed territory is going to be incredibly dangerous. I'm not guiding you through that. And if you get left behind in the disputed territory, I won't come back and, uh, to save you. Those are my terms for guiding you. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Koga, you knew what you were getting into. Why the fuck are you here? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Now you're realizing what you're doing. Why the fuck are you here? Just, ugh, why the fuck is he here? Just go home, Koga. Leave. So what will it be? Uh, do we really need to think it over? We're going to find Ryuki. Yeah, they're going to find Ryuki, but why the fuck? Koga's like freaking out now? But the all-out war situation, I have to wonder, does that tie back to when we saw um, the worm and Nico and them meeting back or meeting up? I wonder if it does. Because I, if I remember correctly, they were planning some chaotic shit. So I feel like that's got to be the case. If the nameless guide is connected to the, if he is connected to the worm, I would not be surprised. If he's either connected to the worm or connected to Makaku, I would not be surprised. My guess is probably more so connected to Makaku than anything else. Because he's, because the general said this, He's not one of ours. He's freelance, but he gets the job done. I'm very curious what you guys think about the guide situation. But... Retsudo, 
I gotta tell you, uh, Retsudo at the start of this chapter in terms of the fight, he was just a little bit stiff. But he's getting to he's getting to um, his papa's level in terms of trolling. He actually, I should say, in terms of trolling, he's not there yet. His troll senses are not there yet. But his fighting sense, his fighting is good. But in the, in terms of the art, it's it was just a teeny bit stiff at the beginning. But other than that, it was good. But man, this aura, I just, I've already, the thing, I've already done my research on you, just, mm, it makes me wonder, who is he connected to? He's got to be connected to somebody. Hold on a sec. This is gonna bug the fuck out of me. Okay, so I double checked. This is when it was in 183 when we saw um, the higher ups of the worm in the Hachi Award. All right, it was the Hachi Award. Yeah, and. They were saying they were waiting for Luhan to show up and that he was on a job. But, hmm. And then after he was done, that all the, um, he would fly over and then all the connectors, top officers would be there. So probably what this means, if everything's going to hell now in the disputed territory, that means probably the connect everyone's there now, including um, the connector, because we saw him leave too. That's what it seems like to me then. That would make the most sense, right? But then, now the real question is then, who is the guide? Because he is wrapped up in bandages. I feel like he's got to be, he, he might be a member of the, he's got to be a member of the worm, right? He got to be. He got to be a member of the worm. General says he could be, he's a freelancer, but can be trusted. I don't know. You never know what the inside I'm really curious what you guys think. Who do you think this guide is? Do you think he is a member of the worm? Do you think he's associated with um, Mukaku? If he's associated with Mukaku, I actually would like, I would love it if he's associated with Mukaku. That would be way more interesting. That would be way more interesting if he was associated with Mukaku. Or hell, if he was, um, if he was associated with Mikaku or with Setsuna, that would be very, very interesting. Especially if it was with um, Mikaku, because then maybe we could get an explanation on um, how Setsuna knew what the fuck was going on up in there. I'm really curious what you guys think. Also, like, Koga, you're surprised by all this shit? Why are you there? <sighs> like... Almost like whatever, because it's the inside. I know it's a culture shock for um, uh, Koga, but Ritsudo is just like, all right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do this shit. I understand. Let's do this shit. Because he's, he's obviously dealt with this fucker. He's dealt with a ton of fuckery. Koga, he's a shelter motherfucker. Why are you here? At this point, it's like, why the fuck are you here? Seriously. I'm glad that there's people in the comments that are like, dude, Koga just should not, that, that Koga is just a boring ass character. I can't stand Koga Stew. Seriously. Oh, God. I'm a, oh, God, would I say? 
But the real question is, is Koga more coddled than Asagi and Bulag? I can't believe I'm going to defend Asagi right now. But I think um, Asagi might be less coddled than, um, than Koga is. I honestly can't believe I'm saying that that might be a possibility. Because re- Asagi is a major Gary Stu. He is. But the reason why I'm saying this is Koga's been a fucking Gary Stu for like the, for, I don't know, for like the majority of this month, or ever since Oma's returned, I feel like that's when Koga's character went downhill. And ever, also ever since he recovered too from getting his ass whooped, that's when he's really became a Gary Stu. Asagi, he became a Gary Stu like after the whole thing with the um uh u20 that's when he became a gary stew so it was more recent so that's why i'm like "Eh, asagi might not be that's why i'm like koga is probably a worse gary stew than asagi is even though i can't stand asagi i fucking hate him but it doesn't mean i'm not gonna cover blue lock people are telling me that i should just stop covering blue lock fuck no i like blue lock i love blue lock I just don't like Asagi. I don't like... It's weird. I don't like protagonist. A lot of series, I just don't like protagonists. They're boring. But I love the side characters. It's the weirdest fucking thing. I don't know why that happens. But it just does. It just ends up being like that for me. There's only a few series where I do like protagonists. But anyways. I'm very curious what you guys think of the whole situation here. Do you guys um, think that it's the connector returning to, um, I'm meeting up with everyone uh, in the inside, um, is why things have the situation has changed in the disputed territory? That's what it seems like to me. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Sync. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Kangen content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.